I mentioned earlier that it is not acceptable to, I don't know if you guys realize this, it, it is not allowed. You are not allowed to swim in the Bass Pro, like, big water display that they have. Since when? When did that You start? didn't know that? No. I, did you ever hear a freedom? new thing, right? <laughs> I thought this was America. <laughs> um, so, I don't, did you guys see what happened in Leeds, Alabama? I don't think I did. No, I, don't I don't think, think so. I did. Now, this isn't the guy, because I saw someone in Florida who went in and caught a fish inside the pool mm. in a oh, net and then walked out the front door with it. That's resourceful. But that's not this guy. That's not this guy. Okay. No. In fact, you're going to wish that I didn't show you <laughs> um, a man who apparently I would agree was going through some sort of episode and uh, mm. decided that he'd just take a little dip, uh, skinny dip, that is, mm. in a Bass Pro water display. Watch. <laughs> Do you think? Yeah, I got that. He did a cannonball. Okay, there it is. I mean, I think he's just practicing his form. Wow. Oh! Ooh. Oh! <laughs> God, did he fall out the hole? Yeah. What? Dumbass. <laughs> well, that's a good word for it. <laughs> did he just flop out of the top of the thing? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! That looked like it hurt a lot. He did not look like he was getting up anytime soon. Was it? Was he on a little something there? Or? I have no idea if he was on something or if he was just having a mental health crisis. But um, maybe he just enjoys swimming. Or yeah. maybe he was practicing his cannonball form. Right. I don't. I mean, who am it's I? It's really more of a belly flop. I mean, yeah. under after. That's why he's you. trying to practice, Stu. Okay, he's not good at it. That's, <laughs> that's a good point. What I'm saying. You, <laughs> do, you don't have a pool. You don't live in a community with a pool. Mm -hmm. I mean, we talk so much about. You know, the Democrats talk so much about equity and inclusion. And this guy is just like, I'm, I don't have a pool and I would like to have a pool so that I can practice and I want to practice. And this is a great way to do that. I'm on his side. I, <laughs> I, I, I should get in touch with his attorney, his defense yeah. attorney. They might want this. I think, from them. you know, how this ends clearly. He just fell out of a tank and fell down 10 feet onto concrete. Lawsuit. This is a lawsuit. He yeah. wins. Yeah. Like he's going to, he's he going to be the Bass victor Pro. of this. Yes. Now that's your new owner right there. Congratulations. You just broke my brain. Right? Don't you think that's how this ends? It has like, to. When someone breaks into your home, you shoot them, and then you get charged with a crime, right? right. Like, that's how this the world works. This guy's totally the victim of this. Why did they leave that open for him to jump into? Why did they leave Clearly such a long drop-off? Why is the ground so hard for when he flops out of there like a fish? <laughs> and now the, water's, the water has made it slippery. Yes, that, yes. Someone yeah. could easily slip and hurt themselves as well. I can't believe that. That... That him falling out. Oh, oh, he fell on a rock first and then he just oh. slipped across the. Oh, my God. I shouldn't be laughing, but I am. Oh. That's just a bag of flesh just, oh, man. just, just sliding. That is not what you want. No, no, no you don't want Wow, that. you're right, Stu. Right. So this story can, uh, this story highlights two separate problems in America. Number one, the mental health crisis, and number two, uh, the epidemic of people suing for everything and yeah. getting paydays. Even though, like, you could have a burglar that sues because he tries to climb your fence and he, like, gets stuck and right. he can sue you. Mm -hmm. That's, wow. That's America today. Uh, I mean, now they're going to have to, you know what happens is they have to, like, put a top on top of the uh, water so people can't jump in. This is or steal Bass fish. Pro forever. Yeah. That's wow. what happens. Okay, but I, I do want to know really quickly how the story ended with the fish. The dude just, he got one of those fishing nets, right? You yeah. know, you would, like, catch a fish and put it inside. He went in, he scooped the thing out. It was a big fish, like, I don't know, this long, and just walked right out and of the store with it, it and got to keep and it. And they didn't do anything? No, I don't know what he did with it. No, I don't want to know what he did with the fish. Who knows what kind of weird thing he had going on with that fish. cooked it and ate it. Okay. Well, yeah, it's possible. We don't know what he did with the fish. All I know is he <laughs> so just like took the fish. like you're thinking of something else that he might have done with the fish. I mean, no. the fish probably would enjoy it more than the eating. Mm. Mm hmm mm hmm Hmm. I don't even know where to go with that. I don't either. I, I'm not the people. I'm not the person stealing the fish from Bass Pro Shop. Oh, okay, I'm not. I can't. Pro. I can't speak for what, like, I can't speak for um, at what he did with it afterwards. I can't. I, I, can't, I can't speak for that, but I will say that is very resourceful. Mm. That's very all, very that's resourceful. All I'm say. And it's probably I, easy, I'm, right? I'm like, a little impressed. It would be hard to catch him in a stream of that mm -hmm. fish of that size. You catch you catch him right at Bass Pro. I'm impressed. I will say there is a possibility that both of these incidents are part of an elaborate marketing campaign for Bass Pro Shops. Oh, now we're talking about how many it. times we've spoken of it. Yeah. yeah, we just gave them free advertisement. Mm -hmm. yep. They they duped us. If you like that clip, there is plenty more where that came from. Click the link in the description below to subscribe to the News and Why It Matters YouTube channel to watch the full episode.